Hello, you legendary friends. This is your pal, Edwards here speaking, and welcome to our next Zoom meeting. If you can see us loud and clear and you're happy to be here, can I get a double thumbs up from everyone? Is that okay? Oh my God, we're here. We've got a legendary crowd and a big welcome. Now, it's a quick thing for you, my legendary friends. We're getting all super organized these days. We even have a slide which PC Panda helped me prepare to set the tone for the meeting. So we're getting very professional now. Give me a victory sign if you think PC Panda's getting professional. PC Panda helped me do this. So firstly, welcome to our international networking meetup over Zoom. I'm your host, Edward Zier, and I'm a master coach and also help run meetup across Australia. And with our team, Lassie, Celeste, Adrian, Margaret, Annette, Tim and more, we're here to help you win big. Now tonight's event will go for up to an hour. It's being recorded and it's an opportunity for you to connect, promote yourself and more. And if you love what we're about to, we have great programs and please like and share. The other thing I was going to say as well is please keep your microphone on mute. But obviously when you go to speak, unmute. And when you finish, then just mute. And um, the only rules are just be nice, keep it all clean, except for PC Panda who's got some issues. And um, also as well, um, it's being recorded as well. So just a big welcome. It's a legendary pleasure to have you with us. And PC Panda which wishes to apologize for his conduct last time. He's deciding to wear a tie to increase his professionalism. So can I get a thumbs up if you forgive PC Panda for his rowdyless last time? That's good. He's very sorry because political correctness is what he's all about. So big welcome now. Um, got a few announcements to make, a few very exciting announcements. Um, we've got, and we'll, we'll, we'll jump into these legendary characters later. Annette Parker is one of our commanders now oh, for Meetup. So give a round of applause to Annette Parker. And of course, Margaret Lilburn, if she's here, I think she's on the second screen. Margaret Lilburn with a bear. Margaret's one of our commanders too. So give Margaret a round of applause and we'll be coming to them shortly. And we've got Celeste, we've got everyone here and we just want to kick off a great evening. Now, one thing is, is that just to kick off the evening, um, how about Celeste? Um, we'll start off with Celeste and then we'll bounce over to... Um, uh, Annette and uh, Margaret, and then we got an announcement of Sophia who's joining us tonight. But Celeste, how are you doing? What's up? I'm doing well. <laughs> it was it was great seeing you on Tuesday night at our meetup in North Sydney. Yeah, it was beautiful. The view was fantastic, and so were the people. So it was great, great event. And I got to say, I loved your speech on LinkedIn. You gave some absolutely amazing tips. Everything was off the cuff, though, Ed. So I didn't prepare anything, but just all from the heart. <laughs> oh, it's excellent. And for everyone, Celeste is an amazing LinkedIn influencer coach, and she's very powerful and capable of what she does. And Celeste, I want to ask you, what are your top tips for people to really enjoy uh, tonight's networking evening? Uh, the best thing to do is put your hand up when you get the opportunity to speak because not everyone will get a minute or two to talk. Um, so if you're spooking something or if you've got a business that you're passionate about, this is the place to share. Um, also use the chat to drop all your links um, and connect with people that re you resonate with. Oh, legendary. Round of applause to Celeste. Thank you, Celeste. We'll come back to you later on. And, no worries. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Now, Annette Parker, how are you doing, Annette? I'm very well, Ed. Thank you. And thank you for that lovely mention. That was awesome. And good evening, everybody. Great to be here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now, Annette's now one of our new mysterious commanders helping us out. And <laughs> Celeste, I just, uh, correction, uh, Annette, I just want to spend a moment with you. Um, tell us a little bit about what you do and how you help people. All right. Well, I'm wearing two hats at the moment. So really my passion is personal development. So I run two businesses and one is an affiliation with a global networking company. So we market events and seminars and really hot educational programs on personal development. So they've won a lot of awards and they've changed a lot of lives and they're an amazing team of people that uh, I get to work with. And the second thing I do is I am a life coach, but I am really zoned in on people that are highly sensitive, that are, are very empathic, who often burn out because they're trying to be there for everybody and are not putting enough self-care into themselves. So that I am finding is keeping me rather busy at the moment. I've had quite a few people reaching out. So building websites and trying to get everything sorted there as well. So that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, Annette, just want to say 
Welcome again. Thank you. And um, please as well. Oh, Annette, while well, I've got you very quickly, what are your tips for people to really get the most out of tonight's networking event? Well, I think I second Celeste there. And I think connecting with people that you resonate with, uh, if you've got a question, reach out to them. So in the last couple of weeks, I've had the pleasure of speaking with Michael DeHaan, Carlo, Celeste, Isabel, you know, there's so many amazing people on this platform to connect with. So I really suggest that you do that. Um, but also remember your time management and um, work out whether you can bring some value to the table as well. Oh, there you go, Annette. And no wonder you're now a commander. Can we get a round of applause for Annette? Thank you, Annette. Hey, we'll bounce over to Margaret and then we're going to touch on Sobia, one of our friends. She's got some announcements. So um, thank you, Annette. Margaret, how are you doing this evening? Oh, hit that unmute key. The Chinese Communist Party is trying to block you again. Of course, of course, of course. Yes, I'm doing really, really well, actually. Very excited. It's all going very well. Yes. Yeah, I've got to say, it was great seeing you as well at our event on Tuesday night in North Sydney. Absolutely. It definitely was. We had a really great crowd and an unbelievable view. So, you know, it was actually awesome. Really awesome. We're getting back to face-to-face -face meetings. Tell you what, it's been great. And Margaret, I mean, just for the sake of people who haven't met you yet, can you tell us very quickly what you do and how you help people? I teach people how to be younger. There are so many different ways that actually we age and there's actually things that we can do. It's a matter of being aware. I'm, I'm, I'm actually on the science side. And I've got a lot of meetup groups as well. I've been running meetup groups for a while. So um, I think it's awesome. I should be involved with profitable marketing as well. So... Um, and I've um, and I actually know the LinkedIn platform pretty well. And so please feel free to connect with me. Anything I can help, I will. Oh, legendary. And just before you go, Margaret, do you have any additional tips for people to really get the most out of this event this evening? Yes. Share your um, share your links in the uh, chat column. Very important. Connect with anybody that you, that um, resonates with you. Save the chat so you've got the information and make sure that you share and comment on all the posts about the meeting. And that, and that will have your connections go through the stratosphere. Oh, well said. No wonder you're a commander. Round of applause to Margaret. It's an absolute pleasure. Yeah. And before we bounce over to Adrian and more, good to see you, Adrian. Uh, one of our friends, uh, Sobia, is on the line tonight. And Sobia, we're bringing up first, she's a very cool friend of mine. She's got some announcements. How are you doing this evening, Sobia? Very well, thank you, Ed. Now, I've got to say, we caught up, was it two or three weeks ago, face-to-face -face right after lockdown. Wasn't that a great uh, afternoon? Yes, it was a very rainy day, but always lovely to see you. Now, now Sobia, can you tell us very quickly what you're up to and the cool stuff that's cooking in your life? Because I tell you what, you've done some amazing things and it's an honour to have you with us. And I just wanted to mention something first. It's good to see everybody smiling here. That brings a lot of energy. And yeah. just a little reminder, today is Are You Okay Day, in case we kind of missed it. So I would emphasize again that reach out to your family, friends that you might not have spoken to. Just touch base and ask, are you okay? How are you doing? And if somebody needs a nudge, maybe cook for them or anything small, it matters. It really, really matters. And just what I'm up to, like, you know, just in my own journey, I have been through depression, anxiety, all of those things like most of us might have, you know with whatever struggles and whatever happiness, whatever journey we've been on. But I just found that in all these journeys, our minds become polluted. It's so full of everything like regrets of the past and worries of the future. No matter what we do, we are unable to bring ourselves to the present moment, which is the most beautiful thing about being alive. So now like, you know, uh, in my teaching, we are covering how do you really slow down? Slow down, clear up the fog, and really see what's important for you, for your family, for your aspirations. What is it that you really want? Not what you've been told, what, not what you're expected. Just like take that weight off your shoulders and then play along with life. So my tagline is let life coach you. Ooh, what was that again? Let life coach you. Yeah. yeah. So. I got the .com domain, so <laughs> I was like, wow. 
anyways, so uh, working, uh, I've been working with one-to-one -one clients for three, four years now. And this year I turned, I worked in consultation with my clients who are mostly like very senior women. I'm talking about CEOs, members of parliaments. So very exclusive clientage. So turn that into an online program. So the announcement is that we ran a practice run just in the past three months, finishing actually tonight and starting the second practice round before commercially launching it at the end of this month. And uh, would love for anybody, if you need more details, let me know, would love to share it with you and would love to have you on board. Oh, awesome. Can you share some links in the comments so people can find you and more? Yes, I will. Oh, beautiful. Rampal Sobia, thank you, Sobia. We love your work. We're going to bounce over to Adrian very quickly, and then we're going to do some elevator pitches. So, Sobia, thank you again. Share your links, and we appreciate you. Thank you, Ed. Adrian, my sexy man. How are you doing this evening? Ed, uh, to be honest with you, dude, I don't want to say it out too loud, um, but I'm feeling better than ever. So that's a good thing. And I also just want to say, how is everyone this evening? Are we pumped a lot? Boom. How you doing, Ed? How's Look, Panda? I'm, pr I'm pretty good. Um, PC Panda is very apologetic for last time because he know he went too far and he decided to wear a tie tonight to demonstrate more professionalism. What do you think, huh? Is PC Panda more towing the corporate line? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. He's winning yeah. people. Now, I was just going to say, Adrian, you've been kicking butt lately and... Um, What's going on in your world? What have you been doing uh, with a crazy lockdown situation in Melbourne? What new great ideas have you learned, my friend? And I've just been making the most of the opportunities out there at the moment. I think uh, if you you know don't look too far, just broaden the horizons uh, with the mind and uh, there'll be things that uh, you'll be able to um, start doing and uh, start uh, growing. So doing a couple of great things at the moment. One with my man Tremaine over there. And oh, uh, yes, he's an awesome dude. So I might as well tell everyone about it. Um, so basically, obviously, I've uh, built my fitness business up over time uh, on LinkedIn being the main platform. And uh, so I've also been helping people for the past year uh, monetize their LinkedIn profiles through high value shareable content and uh, non-spammy outreach messaging uh, with Tremaine, who I've partnered with and Zabang um, through their services. So Super pumped for that. And uh, yeah. And obviously, you know, working with you, Ed, speeds things up a bit, doesn't it? Uh, Adrian, I'm just honoured. Can we get a round of applause for Adrian, the great guy, the legend it is. We'll be back your way, Adrian. Thank you. Now, friends, we're at that great bit of the event where it's time to take some elevator pitches from the room. So if you want to do an elevator pitch for the room, up to 45 seconds, be as precise and direct as possible and share your links. I've got two screens to work over. So if I miss you, don't worry. I'll eventually find you. So if you want to do an elevator pitch, we're going to three people, put up your hand and hold it up so I can pick you. Dr. Liz one, M. Dongo two, and Anya three. Dr. Liz, oh my God, the floor is yours. How are you doing, Dr. Liz? I'm awesome. Thank you so much, Ed. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Liz from Link Nutrition. And I'm passionate about helping people to get healthy and stay healthy through evidence-based nutrition. So I think for those of you who have followed my story uh, on LinkedIn, you know, I'm a um, professor of nutrition and dietetics, um, sort of well-known in the research academic world, and now stepping over more into the business entrepreneurship world to really just support people to be healthy. So that's my passion and um, really excited to connect and see all the amazing opportunities via LinkedIn and networking. Dr. Liz, legendary. Round of applause to Dr. Liz. And also, too, uh, we had an interview recently, didn't we, Dr. Liz? We did. We did. That was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to say, vouch for Dr. Liz, absolute leader based in mm -hmm. Queensland, which is a northern, one of the northern states of Australia. So make sure you show Dr. Liz lots of work. Mm -hmm. Dr. Liz, it's an absolute honour mm -hmm. and thank you. Thank you. Now, to one of my very, very hot, sexy friends who I think about a lot, we've got Mr. M. Dongo. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you, Eddie? <laughs> I don't know what it is, M. Dongo, but whenever I see you, PC Panda and I get really happy. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> um, first of all, uh, Dr. Liz, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm so amazed by the Magician Academy. I want to learn more about that. 
Um, okay, great. Um, so um, I am an entrepreneurship uh, a trainer, business coach, and the Mr. Automator. Uh, so I'm inviting you guys to, to a summit that is coming, I think it's next week. Yes, it's going to be on Wednesday. Um, we'll be having 18 countries there, uh, entrepreneurs from 18 countries uh, globally. Um, that will be just, uh, so, so, so it will be a, a networking and learning from each other and just grow our, our businesses. Thank you. Oh, Mr. M. Dongo, love your work, my friend. A big thank you. And uh, who have we got next? Is it my friend, Anya Lidmilna? How are you doing, Anya? I'm well, thank you, Ed, and uh, you perfectly pronounced my last name. I often skip it. I just say just Anya L, but you've done such a great, a great job that I feel <laughs> compelled to acknowledge it. So thank you, Ed, and it's great to see you. Well, just on that note, because even though my dad's Persian, he was actually born in Azerbaijan, which was actually being occupied by the Soviet Union. So there could be a bit of Russian at me at some point, Anya. Well, I'm certain that there is a bit there you go. So deep down, it's the communist inside of me. Is that what you think, Anya? No, oh, that, that killed the feed. Anya, the Chinese government must have found us. Anya? Oh, the, I don't think the Chinese Communist Party liked that one. Anya, we lost you for a second. How are you doing? Well, uh, my apologies. I'm uh, um, well, thank you. Uh, it's my internet connection is not stable tonight. So if I drop out, please... Um, connect with me uh, through my details that I have put in the chat box. Well, I mean, um, but, you to quickly tell us what you do. Okay, what I do, I'm an LP uh, practitioner and also practitioner of hypnosis and uh, I also do uh, behavioral analysis consultations. What it means, I work with both individuals and organizations and I help them design new ways to solve their problems and um, achieve their goals and utilize their potential, more of their potential. So people get the more out of their life and career. And I usually work, for example, uh, with things like how to create more motivation, um, how to install more natural confidence and um, not to play small because I can see a lot of people, talented people who have so much skills and talent and knowledge, but they don't fully utilize it. They want to but something always seems, uh, seems to stop them in their tracks. So that's what I do in the nutshell. Oh, Anya, beautiful round of applause. A big thank, thank you. you. Pleasure having you with us. Now we're going really great for the time. It's time for us to have a little bit of a stretch. So if you can stand up, now is a great time to stand up and have a bit of a stretch. If you can't stand up, just do a bit of a stretch. Okay, just get out your arms, give a big stretch, you know, flex those biceps. You know, even you know, show a bit of skin if you know what I mean, right? Just, just get ready. Just, just let go. Let go. Let go of all the tension here and embrace the love of the universe because the universe loves you. And you know who else loves you? PC Panda. Don't you, PC Panda? Oh, yeah. He's on fire tonight. He's really warming up. So I just want to say we're doing great. Thank you for that. Um, in fact, I saw Celeste cracking her neck. I'm going to copy her. Good maneuver. And I just want to say... Who else wants three more elevator pitches? Who wants to do an elevator pitch? Put up your hand and hold up. We've got Charles one, Ikua two. Do I have a number three? And Brittany three. So we got Charles, Ikua, and Brittany. Charles, you sexy son of a gun. The floor is yours. Oh, I'm mute. Awesome, Charles. So we can hear your sexy manliness. Oh, I had myself on mute by accident there. Um, shame I missed out in the event the other night. I felt crook and left added message, but feeling a bit better today. Um, in a nutshell, I work with mortgage holders and families that hold a self-managed super fund. So I'm really, I guess the problem solver more from a financial perspective. Obviously we're in a crisis and a lot of, you know, a lot of families are unemployed at the moment. So I come in from a more how can we pay off some of those bills and offset some of those debts so i run a global business um we're a blockchain specialist uh, technology company where we mine cryptocurrency and bitcoin so it's a i guess a subject which is still relatively new to the australian marketplace um a lot of skeptics out there sort of scratching their heads and thinking, oh, 
But so it's look not a it, it's a great business. It does come with its challenges. But yeah, no, we're we're really kicking some goals this year and really helping a lot of people out. Yeah. Uh, Charles, it's a pleasure, my friend. Round of applause to Charles and love your nobility. And yeah. over to Akua, how you doing, Akua? Then to Brittany. Akua, how you doing? Good. Hey, it's been a while. Um, thanks for having me. Yeah, so I'd just like to remind people that I'm a coach and I work with ambitious women globally and um, with a particular interest um, with American expats in England. In fact, I am in London, so woo, it's, it's 9.30 in the morning almost for me. Um, so I'm super excited to let everyone know that this month my book is coming out at the end of October. It's called Be Your Number One Cheerleader. It's a motivational self-help book uh, and it's about building confidence. So what's it called? It's called, is it Be Your Be. Own Cheerleader? Be your number one cheerleader. Oh. oh, my God. So when's it coming out? The end of September. Well, you better share that link if there's anything you got about it, because I'm sure we want to know who's pretty pumped about Akua's book coming out. Yeah? Can I get a hand in the air? Oh, my God. That's the spirit. Akua, we're right behind you. I've got to say, I love your London accent. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> hey, pleasure. Thanks, Akua. And speaking of cool accents, I want to bounce over to California with our friend Brittany Swan. How are you doing this evening, Brittany? Are we sure I'm the one with the accent? <laughs> I hear this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I am Brittany Swan. Um, I own a career consulting firm called Swan's Resumes. And we actually just added two people to our team uh, within the last month. So I'm really excited. Um, we specialize in career coaching, resume writing, cover letters, and all of that good stuff. So if you have any questions or comments or questions or want to get in the mind of a recruiter, I can help you. Oh, beautiful. Round of applause to Brittany. Brittany, we love your work. And um, I just noticed as well, uh, Akua uh, just shared the link for a book as well. So great one. Make sure you check out that link. On, oh, one thing as well, Lassie tonight is busy looking after the piggies. So please um, connect with Lassie, show her lots of love. She sends her maximum love to you. And um, PC Panda actually has been checking out some of the hot guys in this uh, call tonight. And he actually has a thing for bald men. And one of the bald men that PC Panda is quite into is a money coach guy who I'm pals with in Sydney. Michael Dahan, how are you doing? Edward, how are you? And Michael, how was your holidays, you lucky SOB? Where'd you go? Uh, we went up the north coast of New South Wales and just drove, stopped in at beaches, got lost. It was amazing. Absolutely loved it. And... and what did you learn from your holiday? Were there any deep epiphany, you know, mountaintop moments that inspired you, Michael? Well, I think the key was that we had a bit of a plan there, but the, the spirit of not knowing where you're going. So we just found places that we never would have found. So don't just have everything organised. Sort of live your life with a bit of freedom and just find your own journey. And, and speaking of freedom, you're a money coach. You're bloody well good at it. You've got a very, very powerful reputation in Sydney. What has the whole COVID lockdown, what has the whole 2020 taught you about money and what are some of your insights are, Michael? Yeah, two things. One is that I'm seeing more financial stress out there. So it's really talking to people about their situation. And a lot of times it's not as bad as what they think. And the other is that I'm seeing a lot of people take time for themselves and look at their career, look at where they're heading, which is really exciting. And they're actually going down pathways that they're passionate about which I'm, I'm loving. Very nice. And do you have any webinars or cool stuff coming up, my friend? Well, funny you should say that. Well, firstly, I want to um, shout out, it's Women's Health Week in Australia. So to all the women out there, um, it's been going for about eight years. Look after yourself. You're very deserving. So I just wanted to share that. And I'm launching in two weeks' time my employee um, financial wellness program. So it's going out to businesses with over 50 employees making a difference, really looking at productivity and looking at it, motivating employees to be their best. So I'm going to launch that in two weeks. More to, be, more to come. Oh, Michael, it's a legend. And also, too, I'm in Sydney tomorrow, CBD. If you want to catch up at the Opera House, you let me know. Oh, what time? Oh, um, I'll be around the whole day, so we can catch up in the afternoon or something, if you like. Sounds good. I'll, I'll send you something. Oh, done. That means we're going to be doing selfies on the Opera House, aren't we, Michael? <laughs> Well, I'll see you tomorrow. A round of applause to Michael. Love your work, my friend. 
And I just realised we've got an absolute full house tonight. Thank you for coming. I don't know. I think it's time to take photos. Are we right to take a photo now? Can I get a like a peace sign if you want to do photos now? That's the spirit. All right. So first things first, turn on your webcams. Um, so you get sexy, turn on your webcams. It's going to help uh, PC Pandas puff his ears. He likes his ears nice and out. Apparently, like, pandas are quite into that. Um, so what we're going to do is... It's going to go to full screen. All right, all right, you sexy friends. All right, so now you've got to smile and hold the pose, uh, which is very important. So please smile and hold the pose. Three, two, one, and... Was it print screen? Big smile, hold the pose. Oh my God, we're just stunning and brave. Um, quick one, if you think people on this Zoom call are the sexiest you've ever seen, can I get a double thumbs up, double thumbs up? Oh my God, that's the spirit. Well, back to it. Now, oh, Celeste is taking a photo. Quick for Celeste photo. Oh my God. And yeah, just so you know, we really appreciate it. Um, please take photos. Please post this event online. Uh, please take us in. And um, if you see our events coming up, we really appreciate when you share and invite people. It really helps us do what we're doing. Now, we're about halfway. So this is the bit of the evening where we talk about charities that inspire us. Um, so if there's a charity, be it your own charity or charity you're into or some kind of giving organisation that inspires you, well, I'd love to hear about it. Um, if you want to talk about a charity you're into, go and put up your hand. And first one, I, I, uh, Charles, you're up. What have you got for us, Charles? Right, so I run a out of uh, the Pantsa in Bali, Indonesia, we run a, unfortunately due to COVID, we've got our next charity this month postponed, but every every two to three months we'll organise um, bags of food. So in our last charity back post COVID or earlier this year, we prepared 600 bags of food and donations just to some of the families across Bali and Indonesia. And um, we do that as often as we can. So that's one of our charities uh, in Bali that we do. We feed the poor, feed the homeless, and just really sort of engaging with some of the residents across Indonesia. There's oh. a lot happening over there at the moment. Nobility for us. Round of applause for Charles. Yeah. And uh, Charles, if you've got any links, please uh, share them in the comments. Yeah. Well, anyone else got a charity they want to talk about? Just put up your hand. Sharon. Hey, Sharon, good seeing you. Sharon, the floor is yours. Sharon, you have to go. Yeah, I had to unmute myself. Totally forgot. Um, basically, I have my own charity, which is Our Hope, Their Future, which is about help for critical care health workers. But I've recently become a trustee of a charity that links in with it, and it's called Hashtag 365 Challenge where you um, get moving every day for a year. Um, and that obviously increases your mental health, uh, number one. But number two, it's also to raise funds to help people that are suffering from PTSD. Um, and yes, it's going to be, really, well, it is launched currently. People are currently walking 50, 60 miles in two months and raising money for the charity. However, we're going to be doing an international launch next week. So we're looking for partners right around the world to say, right, okay, well, we're going to do this amount of movement every day uh, for both our mental health and then obviously to raise money for the mental health of others. Um, so it's something I'm really passionate about um, and that's uh, mental health because that is the key to, to success and also it's a key to a happy life as well. So that's me and the details are, are already in the chat. Oh, Sharon, Nobility Plus. Can we get a round of applause? Big thumbs up for Sharon. We love your work. And um, if anyone else has got a charity they want to talk about, be it theirs or a charity they're into, just put up your hand and hold it up. I'm looking over two screens. Michael DeHaan. Yes, the floor is yours, my sexy Bruce Willis look like friend. Unmuting might be helpful. So I just want to share, it's not a charity I'm involved in, but I will be. So it's looking at um, women over 55 um, being homeless. So 
from 2011 to 2016, the rate of women over 55 being homeless has increased by 31%. So it's a stat I'm not proud of as a male. So I'm going to, as I said, get involved in that and look at ways to make a big difference because I think it's unacceptable. And, and on that note, and this is, again, oh, this is terrible as being once a homeless guy myself, why are more women becoming homeless? Why is it leaning towards women in that scenario? Well, they've just don't build up the wealth the same as males. So they have 50% of the money in superannuation. They take caring roles. So they look after kids, elderly parents. And if you look at women generally in the workforce, 50% of them are part-time. So they just don't have the same capability to build wealth and to be financially independent as males does, do. So we have to change that. Oh, nobility. Can we get a round of applause for Michael? Super noble. Man, I'm feeling that one now. I appreciate it. Now we're doing good friends. We're having a wonderful evening so far. Um, who's having a good time tonight? Can I get some reactions? Are we having a good time? Well, you know what time it is now. Celeste actually is doing the move. Celeste, can we have your, some of your assistance here? Yes, I actually wanted to um, let you know that your volume's a little bit low, Ed. I don't know if it's just on my end, but it's gone low. Your, your volume. That's weird. Must be the Chinese Communist Party. Hang on, I'll sit a bit closer. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's better. There you go. Um, I surface for Well, while I've got you, Celeste, um, before I saw you dancing a little bit, um, and it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Can you maybe lead us with a few dance moves just to help us loosen up and keep the energy up there, Celeste? I'm just letting you know they don't have to be good dance moves. They can be terrible because um, that's what I pride myself in. Really bad dance moves. <laughs> I'm worse than you, so let's do it. Ha the worse the better. Celeste, lead the, let's all dance following Celeste's lead. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god, PC Panda's feeling a bit uh you know what? He's enjoying that one. Um okay. Celeste, I gotta say, you've been kicking butt lately and you've been from strength to strength. Um Celeste, what are some of your really powerful tips when it comes to being an influencer on LinkedIn? Uh the best thing to do is just be consistent. So whatever you are able to do, even if it's posting once or twice a week to just stick to that. Um, so when you're turning up for people, you're turning up on a regular basis and to follow through when people are in um, contact with you or, you know, send you a message, get back to them because that's how you build your relationships. It's not just about that surface, um, how you're going kind of thing. It's about finding out more about a person and why, why they're doing what they're doing, and what motivates them. All about the personal touch. You know what I mean? Very about nice. Technology. Very nice. And speaking of personal touch, your Wednesday Zooms are getting bigger and bigger, aren't they? Yeah, actually, <laughs> it's pretty funny because sometimes some people like to um, go for a bit longer and I have to be very diplomatic and be like, that's awesome, put your stuff in the link. So they might hear me say that a little bit because I usually get about 25 people um, per session and they're from all over the world and it's just great to hear from people from different professions and different areas and, you know, um, sharing I'll, sometimes some really personal stuff because I like to pride myself on making it a really safe and um, supportive place. Oh, no, Gold, I've heard, I've heard nothing but brilliance about it. And um, Celeste, I don't, know if you, um, I don't know if you can put in a link, but feel free to share a link for your next Zoom because I tell you what, uh, you keep, you're doing a great job. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I, I absolutely love doing it. So. <laughs> Oh, pleasure. Can we get a round of applause for legendary Celeste? Thanks, Celeste, guys. We'd love your work. And um, I just want to bounce over to Margaret Lilburn for a second. Uh, Margaret, how are you doing this evening? Oh, unmute my friend. Hit that unmute key. I'm doing extremely well. Extremely well. Enjoying yeah. the um, energy, enjoying the new people. Now, I've noticed, Margaret, your health is just getting better and better by the day. How are you improving your health? What are your secret tricks that you can share with PC Panda and the audience? Well, I've hired Adrian Lee. <laughs> oh, so Adrian's your nuclear missile, is he? Yes, he's actually getting me motivated. And, 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 and how, is Adrian, 
how has Adrian done that? What are some of the ideas that um, sexy Ryan Reynolds slash Adrian's helped you with? His online coaching is incredible. I would never have thought that it would be so effective, but it's actually, it's, it's actually like having your own personal trainer in the room. Extraordinary. It's just, and I'm getting more flexible and I'm eating better. I'm exercising. I'm just doing stuff. I mean, Adrian even said today I'd lost weight off my face. <laughs> I agree with that. You're definitely, you're definitely getting all shredded now. That's for sure. Hmm. Yes. Yes. I've still got a little while to go, but, um, and and I even posted a picture of my mother today, who's 88. 88? 88. Well, this month, yeah. Wow, she's like the age of the US presidents these days. That's really cool. <laughs> I think Trump's only 70. <laughs> yeah, he's a spring chicken and Biden's only, what, 79 or something like that. So there you go. Hey, Trump's up for a Nobel Prize. Did you hear that? No, that can't be true. Really? Is Trump up for a Nobel Peace Prize? Maybe it's the fake news. <laughs> yeah, that must be that must be PC Panda's Peace Prize. I can't imagine it would be the real one. So there you go. <laughs> and what's the name of your friend who's joining I us? I don't know, actually, but he's from America. He's from America. I haven't got a name. It's just Bear. So we, should we call him Uncle Sam Bear or something American and patriotic, maybe? I'll think about something for next week. Yeah, and maybe maybe see if he's a Republican or a Democrat. Is he supporting Biden or Trump? Good idea. Uh, Good idea. Yeah, yes. so let's check out his political orientation. Or is he like a Bernie Sanders supporter and he's all jaded and salty because Bernie didn't get up as a candidate? Who knows? Might have to do some research there. Anybody wants to help, let me. Um, I'm actually very happy to have tips. So, yeah, bring you, uh, Margaret, a bit of help to work out the political orientation of her bear. That would be awesome. So thank you for that. <laughs> Beautiful. And, and can we just bounce over? Thank you, Margaret. Can we give a big victory sign for yeah. Margaret and her American bear? Hopefully he leans Republican and votes Trump, but we'll see what happens there on that one. And thank um, you. And thank you for um and thank you for electing me as commander too. I want to say that. Oh, just Margaret, really, yeah. if anything, it's my fault for not doing it three years ago. It, 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 glad we got there. So thank you for poking me in the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a pleasure. But just uh, just for sake of watching, I've known Margaret for years. Very beautiful lady, heart of gold. What you see is what you get. So please connect with uh, Margaret and show her lots of love. Thank you. Oh, pleasure. And speaking of love, I just want to bounce over to Annette Parker before we do some elevator pitches. Annette Parker, yeah. um, how are you going this evening, Annette? What's been happening? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, well, what's been happening? I don't actually have a teddy bear. Am I supposed to have a teddy bear for... <laughs> Like, you know, am I missing out on something? Well, you might have to, um, but make sure he's a right-wing Republican voting teddy bear. I think that's a way to go for sure. Right-wing. Okay. All right. Well, Celeste, are you going to get one as well? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, look, um, as I said, I've just been really, really busy. Two hats. I've been doing a lot of research and going through a lot of my book work from uni just to, um, yeah, wind down, slow down, to speed up, as they say sometimes, and take a step back and um, keep the end goal in sight. That's my advice for the, the evening. And, uh, by the way... In regards to charity, uh, I've still got my challenge on one charity a week until the end of 2020. So awesome, awesome. Surf life saving. Noble. Noble. And Annette as well. Annette, you're a beautiful soul. Everyone, please connect with Annette. Can we give Annette maximum love? Big round of applause for Annette. Thank you. Annette, we love your work. Now we've got about 15 minutes left. So we're up to the bit of the evening where it's probably, probably take some more elevator pitches actually. So if you want to do a pitch, I invite you to pitch and I invite people to speak who haven't spoken yet. So if you haven't spoken yet, especially this is aimed at you, but if you'd love to do an elevator pitch or speak to the room, we've got K1, uh, who else wants to go? Scott two and Isabel three. Good. I was going to target you. Oh, you're on my list anyway, Isabel. So I was about to go after you, but you bet me to it. So let's kick it off with Kay Scott, then Isabel. Kay, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, Ed. How are you? And good evening or good morning, should I say, from Southwest Wales in the UK. Okay, I'm look at so the panic. Did you know that? Say again. 
I'm the soul mechanic. Wow. The soul mechanic. The soul. How does that work? It works by me working with everybody's psyche. Because believe it or not, Ed, all of us are psychic. We don't always use the gifts, but we're all psychic. We're all connected. We make that big jigsaw puzzle whole, that universal energy. But some of us have got limiting beliefs and phobias. We don't believe in ourselves. We can't see the wood for the trees. And that's where I come in. I help people with tarot and soul cards to think for themselves. And I remove those limiting beliefs, those things that cause PTSD, those anxieties, those depressions, the phobias. Um, and I can work anywhere as long as people can speak English. Kay Noble, round of applause for Kay. You are an amazing lady. And Kay, please share some links. That'll be awesome. Thank you, Ed. And Scott, my sexy friend from Canada. Scott, my friend, long time no see. How have you been? Oh, I've been uh, blessed and highly favored there, Ed. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, you know, it's a pleasure to see all these uh, lovely legends, uh, yourself included, of course. And, um, you know, a great, uh, you know, just a shout out for Celeste's uh, Zoom network. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to go on there yet, um, you're missing out, man. You're just, you're just missing out. So um, shout out to Annette as well, to a lot of people. Uh, I miss you, Ed. Um, and I know we've been going back and forth, but uh, I've been really, really busy lately, which is really good. Um, you know, so I'm a financial and mindset coach and our brokerage has actually taken off. Uh, we've been super, super, uh, super, super crazy as of late. So it's really, really good. Uh, I love to participate more on these, but um, it's just been like crazy, crazy schedule. Uh, but yeah, just uh, hit me up on LinkedIn. Uh, in the next few weeks, I'm actually going to be looking at doing some webinars um, to help people in terms of, you know, building that millionaire dollar mindset. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people are not really sure what to do. A lot of people are just, you know, not really sure to where to invest. And, uh, you know, so I'm just going to be launching a webinar very, very soon and uh, giving you guys some tips and ideas of how to live the mindset, uh, how to live the millionaire mindset life. Oh, Scott, legendary. And um, I don't know if you've got any links, but when you get some links, please share them with us. It's an absolute honor and privilege to hear you doing webinars. They're very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Take care. And just before you go, what time is it there in Canada right now? Oh, yeah, time check time. Uh, it's about 10 to 5, uh, 10 to 5 in the morning. So I actually stayed up because uh, <laughs> I didn't want to miss it. So <laughs> I, I stayed up since 11 in the evening and uh, I was uh, ticking down the time as to when I was going to come on. So um, I, I wouldn't have missed it. So you guys are, are awesome. Congratulations again on the new commanders, Annette, um, Margaret. Um, unfortunately, Edward, just to make it short, I'm sort of a right wing type of guy in terms of politics. Um, so we'll, we'll have to chat about that a little later. <laughs> oh, we got another right wing. Huh? <laughs> and it's yeah. a bit of lefties, but I've caught PC Panda watching Trump rallies and Fox News. So we've got to keep an eye on this guy. Scott, he's looking him. sharp. He's looking sharp, by the way. Uh, I got to step on my game. So. Yeah, yeah. But that's why I put on a tie. I think he's going to become a Republican the way he's going, unless someone can. Uh oh. Take <laughs> <laughs> care, uh, Scott. It's a pleasure. Big round of applause to Scott. Great seeing you again, and I'm glad you're kicking butts, Scott. And bravo. And um, to my friend Isabel, we were on the phone for what I think 45 minutes the other day. Um, how are you doing, Isabel? I am absolutely fantastic, Ed. Thank you very much. I have to give a shout out to Margaret. She is an absolute beautiful soul. I've met Margaret personally, and she's gorgeous. So obviously I have two bears to date when I'm in Sydney. So don't forget PC Panda's my date. Remember that, Ed? <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to the restaurant. <laughs> and you're paying? Yeah? Great. So what I do is um, I help people who attract players online and get ghosted and why they're getting ghosted. So we also uh, do background checks on the people that are talking on dating sites and all they have to do is give me their name and um, we put it into the program I have 
and we do a background check. And if they have any um, things like if they're a sex offender or things like that, we don't go into it with the client, but we do say, shut it down. You do not want this date. So yeah, so that's what we do. We help people that avoid players online. I was one of those people who fell for a player. I lost business and I lost a lot of money yeah. and uh, I lost myself. So I had to crawl back and it's taken me two years to crawl back. And now I'm back. I've got my P control because I'm not allowed to say the other word. <laughs> so yeah, and that's what I do. But look, I'm sorry to hear that, Isabel. And if you don't mind me asking publicly, of course. Sure. How did you how did you bounce back from such a defeat? How did you how did you get back to winning the way you did? What are some of your insights there? Um, how I got back after to it was very soul crushing. Um, I lost my confidence. I lost my self esteem. And of course I was a coach as well back then too. And this happened four years ago. Um, I was in that for three years. Um, how I bounced back was a lot of soul searching. Um, I took myself off the internet. I took myself, um, away and really soul searched myself within. Yeah. And, and I'm still learning to love who I am. And it's a lot better now than what it was. So yeah, there's a lot of strategies and tools and we dig deep into why we fell for this, this type of person. Um, because there are men who uh, fall for players um, as well, because there's women players out there. And um, I, I'll probably get a bit of a ribbing for this, but women are the best manipulators there is. Men are good, women are better. So, you know, we go through that as well with men, but it's just a lot of tools and strategies to put in place to watch the red flags and how to go through the breakup and betrayal. So I'm about to um, launch my course on how to emotionally get back from the uh, breakups and betrayals. Oh, yeah. Gold, gold. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, and Isabel, can I talk about the move as well? Your move? Can Absolutely go for it. Oh, and just yeah. to let you know as well, um, Isabel, um, it just for the sake of our friends, rather, Isabel lives in the state of Queensland, which is like, it's like Florida. It's like the northeast and eastern state of Australia. And we, all of us over time, persuaded Isabel, she's going to come and immigrate to Sydney in the next few months. Yeah. So Isabel's going to come to Sydney. Um, she's going to move. And we're actually going to hold a meetup in Isabel's honour. So um, we're going to be welcoming Isabel to town. Are you excited about your move into uh, Sydney? Oh, I am. I am. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, our government, pro, uh, M local MP, Anastasia, and the only reason I remember her name is because of the Prince song, Anastasia. I refuse to play that now. Don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, she's just, yeah. Go Trump! Oh my God, PC Panda! We're starting a Trump rally. I like it. PC Pandas might lose the Democrat Party the way he's going. No, but... <laughs> but I also want to say to Ed, when we go through the, um, if we are chatting to people online, and there's business people that chat to people online too. You know, there's all sorts. I just want to say what happened in my experience. I also teach people unconditional love. The person that scammed me, I unconditionally love him. Uh, I forgive and we have to forgive for ourselves, not for that person, because that's their own crap to deal with. Not, not mine, not anyone else's, but I still unconditionally love that person because if I don't, then there's heart, 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 there's pain and associated with hate and I refuse to hate. So yeah. That's what we also teach people in our courses is unconditionally love them and ourselves. Yeah. And forgiveness. Oh my God. Isabel, that is amazing. Look, can we get a round of applause for Isabel? Isabel, can't wait till you join us in town and um, yeah, we'll definitely be holding a meetup in your honor. So we can't wait. Oh, I can't wait to meet all these sexy people. Exactly. Exactly. It's a big thank you. So my friends, a quick one. Thank you as well. We've got five minutes left. Um, just to make the use of a remaining of time, just a few quick things. Um, please take photos, like and share it online. Our next meetup will be next Thursday. 
Um, if you're in Sydney as well, our next face-to-face -face mastery workshop is Saturday, the 31st of October. So if you want some details on that one, let me know. And just quickly, I just want to open up to the floor, especially if you haven't spoken yet, now is your big chance. So if you want to pitch or something, we've got Cami one, Annie two, and Huni three. So Cami, okay. So Cami, Annie, then Huni. Uh, Cami, good seeing you. The floor is yours. Hi. Thanks, Ed. So, hi everyone. I'm Kemi from London. So I'm a health and wellness coach. So I help people with their health or their wealth, whichever one anyone's interested in. My DLs are in the chat box. So connect with me if you know anyone or have anyone that is interested in learning more about it. Thanks, Edward. Cammy, always a pleasure seeing you and I love your cheery smile and a big thank you. Appreciate you. And uh, uh, Annie, we got Annie then Huni. Annie, how are you doing this evening? I'll unmute my friend and... Uh, oh, yeah, hi Edward, thanks so much. I just want to let everyone know I've got a special event happening on Wednesday night at 7.30. I'll put the link in the, um, in the chat. Um, I'm being interviewed. Uh, it's an author talk. And discussing my book, The Strength Within. And it's going to be on Zoom. And please register. It's free. And you'll learn more about me and my story. Legend, you. And, you, and you're a cancer survivor, weren't you, Annie? I am a cancer survivor. But there's a lot more to it than that. I don't actually dwell on that. I dwell, I focus more on overcoming adversity on resilience determination and having hope and looking for the light at the end of the tunnel that's what my my focus is oh annie gold if you've got any links please share it round of applause to annie a big thank you, thank you. and uh, Huni, it's great seeing your cheery smile um hey have you been how have you been Huni? oh hi Ed. i am good thank you and i hope you are and your pissy panda yes Professional Republican, the way it's looking. Mm -hmm. And hi everyone. Uh, yeah, my name is Winnie. Uh, I'm based in Sydney, Australia. Uh, so what I do is, uh, yeah, I'm helping business owners to build and maintain relationship with their client using a greeting cards, and it's called stand out cards. So basically, I could help you stand out from your competitors by sending a card to your client. So on a personal level. My company is spreading kindness to the world. Simply get in touch with your friend and family through a card. Don't look down on the power of card. Ed got one for me and I'm sure that he remembered that. Well, if, yeah, if you want to know how it works, let's connect to LinkedIn and we can have a chat. And just on that note, didn't you send a beautiful card to Adrian Lee? Yes, I did. And yeah, if anyone, you know, want a surprise in a mail, in your mailbox, because you can't have a family, you know, your mailbox is a missing love, please give me a, uh, you know, please give me a buzz on the link in and, you know, I'll send one to you. i tell you what, I'd much rather get a card from you than an audit from the Australian tax office. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a pleasure. Huni, and just so you know, for the sake of the audience, um, Huni, we've known each other for what? Probably eight years. I've known you for a long time, Huni. Uh, I think I did. Remember last year, I think like, you know, uh, yeah, we, you know, we, when we still have the face-to-face -face, uh, meeting, you know, uh, in the central. So, and then, you know, coffee starting coming and, you know, uh, everything, you know, just changed totally. Yeah, but it's great. You remember me. Maybe my card is really powerful, right? Uh, your card is unstoppable, much like your sharp wit and brilliance, Huni. Excellent. Hey, uh, mm. Huni. Round of applause to Huni. A big thank you. And just to, we've got a minute left. Just to finish off the evening, I actually want to go to my very sexy Irish Australian friend. He's another sexy bald man. Uh, he's very smart. He works with Adrian Lee and he just wins all the time. Tremaine Murphy, how are you doing this evening? Hey Edward, how are you going? It's great to be here. It's um, oh, it's fantastic just sitting back and listening to so many um, inspiring people. You know, it's it's uh, it's 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 terrific. I'm very well. 
And, and just to share it with everyone, um, Lassie's actually in the process of signing up. One, you're actually helping Lassie find a VA right now. Thank you for uh, looking after us. Yes, we are. We're going through um, a really interesting process of looking to find a very unique individual to work with yourself and Lassie and the team. And um, that's what we do. We help, we help um, small businesses um, get some support offshore. And um, that's what makes me tick. And more inspiring at the moment than, than doing that, broadly speaking, um, working with Adrian Lee on um, his terrific business and learning lots about LinkedIn and um, and marketing and supporting him there. So guys, if there's anything we can do to support you, um, please don't hesitate, reach out. Um, I'll pop a link in, in the chat function there. And um, you know, when you're running your own business or you're an entrepreneur or a solopreneur, often, I mean, you just have to roll your sleeves up and get stuck in and everything these days can be DIY. But after a period of time, it gets to the point where there's a fair bit going on and a lot of noise. And sometimes it's nice to be able to hand some of that off. Um, and to get some support so we can recalibrate and focus our attention on, I suppose, our core skill set and our key offering. Um, so look, please reach out. Don't hesitate. I'm happy to jump on a call with you. And if there's an opportunity that I can help you out, whether it's through our business or through even referring you to an expert like Adrian or Edward or anyone else, I'm happy to do so. And I'd love to learn about your businesses as well. Um, I've got a, a network that's growing like everybody else. I'm happy to share. Thanks, Ed. I'll put it just before you go, Tremaine, this brings us to the end. Can we get a closing thought from you just to tap off our evening? What's your big closing thought and bit of advice to leave with people so they win big? Um, I think it's about recognising that if you focus on the process and the quality of what you're doing to achieve the outcome, the outcome itself will take care of itself. I think sometimes we can live in the future. We can be so sort of, it's, it's good to have a clear picture on, on what we're, we're heading towards, but focusing on the process that enables us to deliver the outcome is possibly in, in the most important thing. And that can be the relationship and the people that we're engaging with. And I think that's what's so powerful about what we're doing here, you know, engaging with each of you and, and the understanding of each other's um, power and what we're offering will lead to great outcomes for everybody. So there's my um, in the moment, put on the spot, Pearl of Wisdom, hope it adds some value. Well, on that note, I'd love to close the evening and just want to say a big thank you for coming. It's been an absolute pleasure. Round of applause for a stunning evening. We'll see you all next time. And I just want to say, I'm going to hit stop recording now, but I just want to say love your work, like, share and comment. And a big thank you from PC Panda and myself. And keep staying sexy and keep winning, big friends. Thanks, Edward. Bye. Thanks.